I'm going undercover with me and a friend of mine to test out the new contestants. This should be fun. How many Blue Royal Oak Turbs do you have? Uh, I'm not sure which one exactly you're looking at. I wouldn't even be calling you for $99,000 worth. You out of your mind? You have the just date. Yes, sir. Um... Use your black suka. Oh boy. We are at the New York Jewelry and Watch Show. You take this for 18.5, I'll give you that one for 60,500. I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. How much is that watch? 190. Can I give you 140? What the f is wrong with this? Go f yourself and save your money. Guys, it's a good one this week, but before you do, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, so I'm pulling into my friend's office. His name is Eric uber knowledgeable, and I felt that a hidden challenge was the way to go. I'm going to call one of my sales guys one at a time and say, hey, listen, I have a client that reached out about a particular watch, why don't you handle them? We're gonna throw scenarios on them in the form of an irate customer, a customer that feels very important about himself, someone that has a heavy accent, just scenarios that they could possibly run into as they're talking to clients, because our clients come from all different walks of life. Let's go in there and, uh, get this done. I know Eric was definitely looking forward to this. One day that we're shooting this, I'm not wearing a watch. Really? So for the first guy, I'm going to be a rude client. And Shouldn't be that hard to do for you, bro. <laughs> Very funny. All right, let's call Josh. Hey, what's up, brother? Write down this phone number real quick for me. The gentleman's name is Eric. Uh, I need you to give him a call. I'm, I just walked into a meeting with my attorney. He's going to ask you some questions about uh, Royal Oak Turb. Just give him some basic info and uh, see if you can close it. Uh, he's bought from us before, so shouldn't be a hard sale for you. This setup, Josh has no idea. Speak. Hey, Eric, this is Joshua. How are you doing, my friend? Josh, who are you? I'm uh, from Luxury Bazaar. Roman just gave me your phone number. So you're like his gopher? <laughs> I'm his, uh, his right hand, his go-to. I don't know what, what hand he uses right or left, but I don't give a shit. I hear you're looking for a Royal Oak Turb. How can I help you, brother? Yeah, I saw it on your website and I kind of ran into him. So uh, tell me about the watch. What's going on? Which, uh, which one specifically are you looking into? The pretty one, the one that's 25 years old. That would be, let's see. Can you give me uh, you know, the color, maybe the material? Blue dial. Blue dial. That is the... All right, so what's up with the watch? Do you guys still have it? We do, I'm just looking for the one, we have so many that are blue Royal Oak Turbs. Uh, I'm not sure which one exactly you're looking at. Dude, how many blue Royal Oak Turbs do you have? I'm looking at like eight of them right now, actually. Well, which one? Um, we have the Concept Turb, we have the Offshore, we have the Flying Turbion. I saw it on your website. Can't be that difficult. Hold on for a second, my secretary's calling. I gotta make some money, hold on. We have so many Royal Oak Turbs. In fact, blue Royal Oak Turbs in stock. But let's get this guy down. We'll see what he's looking for. Yeah, sorry. So what's up? Did you find it? No worries. I believe I did, yes. It was listed for 99,000. Is that the one you're looking at? No, man, I'm, that, I wouldn't even fucking be calling you for $99,000 watch. Are you out of your mind? Eric, help me out here. What are we looking for? Let me get, let, let me help you out. Which one is it? It's blue Royal Oak Turb, 1997, you said? Yeah, it's an anniversary edition. It was made for their 25, 25 year anniversary. It's 25 years old. Ah, got it, okay. Fuck, man, you're just wasting my time. Okay, I found it. It's the Phillips Auction Collection. All right, here we go. Clock's ticking, what's up? Here it is, listed for 359. It is a Royal Oak Turbion, traditional crown. It's a 40 millimeter. Do you guys have it? Yeah, we have it in stock. It's right in front of me. 345 for you, my friend. 345? Are you out of your goddamn mind? You're selling a watch, but... You, how much do I want to pay for it? I want to pay nothing for it. I want to be given as a gift. Let me reach out to Roman. Let me get a price from him. He'll do better than 275, I'm sure. All right, Eric, I'm here if you need any help. Jesus Christ. Wow, he's brutal. <laughs> okay, that was a little much. I felt like that was a joke after a certain point. Honestly, I think he held his ground well. He did. <laughs> I killed him an A+. Plus. I know, I agree. Uh, so next guy is going to be Kevin. I, I did this purposely. This is like the knowledgeable guy that's calling. And Kevin is probably the least knowledgeable, but Kevin over the last couple of weeks has been grinding, studying. He actually took it to heart when we did the knowledge challenge. So I'm hoping he does well. Hello? Uh, 
we're hey, talking. Hey, Joe, how you doing? This is Kevin from Luxury Bazaar. Hey, Kev, what's happening? I got an inquiry that you were interested in, I believe, an AP Royal Oak. Is that correct? Yeah, the gray dial that you guys have on your website. Sure, let me check it out for you. How's your day so far, okay? It's getting better if I get that watch. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, we have it here. There's there's two of them that I see on here. Um, they're pretty much priced neck and neck. I don't know if you have like a specific preference. I do have um, the white gold with the black dial too. No, I don't want the white gold. I'm, I'm looking for a stainless steel. Let me let me ask you this. Um, mm -hmm. How complete are they? How many links does it have? Has it been serviced by AP? Bear with me one minute. Yeah, I would actually have to follow up with you on that just to be 100% clear because I know when we had a paddock service, we did send it to paddock. So this should be full links. Yeah, this should be full links in it. How many is that? Let me check. Listen, I, I don't have all day to deal with here. Is, is the clasp the same? That I do not know. Okay, so I'll be honest. I didn't know everything that a client was asking, but I thought it was best for me to get back to him with the correct answers rather than to just make something up. I do not know what the, uh, if, the, if the clasp is exactly the same. I would assume it is, but I wouldn't want to tell you that for sure. Why don't we do this? Let me mull it over. I'll talk to Roman again, see if, the, see if it makes sense, and then uh, I'll reach out either to Roman or to you directly. No, I really appreciate you even calling and everything and being patient with me as I'm you know, going through the information of both of these. If anything, just call me back. Um, save my number, I'll save yours, and um, yeah, hopefully I hear from you soon, Joe. All right, Kevin, thank, thank you. So Have a blessed day, all right? All right, you too, bye-bye. Uh, I thought it could be worse. Yeah? So when he didn't know something, he said it. Because if he would have said, yeah, it has, you know, 30 links, I'd be looking and going like, ah, yeah, I don't think so. And it would be a drop, like, I don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I like the fact that he didn't make anything up. He didn't make it up, and he said, look, I think this is what it is, but I may be wrong, I need to check on that. Give him a B on that, for sure. All right, so next time we're gonna have the cheap guy, I'm gonna have him call Peter. Grab one of the camera guys, he loves being on gray market. No, I'm calling him up. Hey man, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. So uh, Roman actually gave me your contact info, said that you were looking for a sky dweller, is that correct? Yeah, I'm looking for the one, it's not very popular. I guess that's why you guys are giving it a discount. Oh, really? All right, yeah, yeah, what, what are you looking for? It's the two-tone black dial. I know the black dial is not very, like, not too many people buy it. Absolutely, all right. We have it up for $22,950. Right, what's the retail on that one? Pretty sure, I believe it's seventeen five plus tax. So if you do the math, you're, I mean, honestly, at twenty two nine fifty, you're really not that far away from retail. How much less than the retail can you give it to me? Because I know that they have them in stores. I'd just rather deal with you guys because it's going to be easier. I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> you know, I got to pay, I got to pay toll and bridge and shit. I can't do that. Could you imagine? I do this every morning. I pay the toll going here and coming back. Yeah, but you know what? If you live in Staten Island, I know this because I got relatives that do this. If you live in Staten Island, you get a discount on that Verizona Bridge shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all that. That's, see, I got my wife's car and she's registered in yeah. Staten Island. She gets a discount. Get out of here, really? Yeah, you get a discount. My aunt lives right off of exit 15, right before the Verizona Bridge. My whole family uses that address. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save it on there. <laughs> We're saving like a grand every month. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. To, to close this deal, I, I think I could get away with 20K. Is that your bottom line, 20K? That is my bottom line here. But it's cash. It's like you don't have to pay tax or anything. Well, no, I have a listen. I, yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna be on gray market here. I don't want to go into none of that. But uh, so right off the bat, I could kind of get the sense that this guy was a penny pincher. You know, after doing some quick math in my head, I figured that we were gonna be around the 19,000, 20,000 mark out of the store. And he was trying to get me under that. Can't do it. My offer stands by 12 o'clock tomorrow. If you call me back, I'll have, some, I'll have my guy drive over to you guys and he'll drop off the cash, pick up the watch, all right? But for now, let me, let me go, because I got I get, I get some other business to take care of. Do, do your thing, Robert. We'll be in touch, right, brother? Uh, thank you. All right, have Bye -bye. a good one, bye. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hit it with the cash, and you like, I, 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 this is a, I don't know what to do. <laughs> this happens. Yes. Hello? Yes, hello. Is this Sergey? Yes. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is David uh, Hettenschwiller. I'm calling you uh, from Luxury Bazaar. Hmm? What? 
Uh, my name, my, my name is David Hedges. Whoa, 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 where are you calling from? Uh, from Luxury Bazaar. Ah, is it Roman's company? Yes, Roman's company, exactly. I'm one of uh, Roman's uh, new guys. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. You guys, you, you, yes, ha you, have, you have that just date. They just... Yes, the date just, we have it. Yes, yes, you mentioned the date just, the blue one. The just date? No. The date just, is it? Date just is, yeah, date just is the way uh, that uh, that it uh, it's spelled, but uh, I understand you either way. Just date, date just. Сколько it cost? Сколько? Сколько? It cost, the cost. Сколько it cost? I'm, how much? Ah, the cost. Yes, it's around uh, $10,000, sir. Uh, how much? 10000 Shekels? I kid. Let, let me let me let me ask. Do you have anyone who speaks uh, Ukrainian or Russian? I will feel more comfortable. No, no, I don't. I don't speak Russian, but I do speak French, sir. I don't speak French. Why you tell me it's French? I don't speak French. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I I do not speak Russian or Ukrainian. You you like Ukrainian girls? I have I have a daughter. She needs a green card. You married? Oh uh, well. Lucia, blood, suka. <laughs> Yeah, I've had to deal with irate clients in the past. People from Russia and Ukraine, they, they can generally be quite uh, uh, standoffish and off-putting. But this guy took it to a whole other level. What's your best price? I need best price. Sir, so the, the price that we have uh, for this watch available is $2,995. No, 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 that's, that's the wrong price. It's a huina price. Uh, this is not the real price. Oh. Give me real price. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Luska, blek, again. Hold. Let me talk to her and I'll call you back. This is this is crazy. Of course, sir. If you'd like, we can even communicate by text message, whatever you prefer. That's fine. Text, text, what, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll text you. It was a pleasure, pleasure speaking to you, uh, Sergey. Спасибо, до свидания. Thank you. The fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Get on the way. <laughs> I ran into the fucking corner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't even know. <laughs> My God. So I wanted to let these phone calls simmer a little bit, see if the guys are going to continue to reach out to the shopper and see how that goes. But meanwhile, we have a show to do in New York. Let's go. A lot of Roger Dubuis, Frank Mueller. My personal watch. My unit is now done. Trusty. And here we have uh, Love New York. Well, it's not Love New York, but it uh, looks like the Love New York. Here is a beautiful Blancpain with the uh, wonderful stepped case. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful case. Quite difficult to make, these cases with the different tiers. So, beautiful piece, a lot of value in this one. We're gonna ask the boss a question. Roman, question for you. Yeah. What's your general like plan of attack at these trade shows? I don't have a plan of attack. It's more of a defensive position than an attacking position. Every trade show, regardless whether it's a retail-facing show or a wholesale show, it's gonna have it's gonna have both. Yeah. Okay, so it's complete October card. It just needs a light touch up on the buckle. All right, so I'll protect you in a little bit. All right, yo, it's good. He'll take it. Thirty-one. Bang. In and out. Get him in. Get him gone. Sit. Yeah. The seventh watch sold since we started. This guy. Animal. So starting off the show pretty early, I sold this two two six six five eight, the forty-two millimeter yellow gold yacht master, and then as well, I sold the Sea Dweller one one six 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 zero. About 20 minutes later. All right, so we were taking a look at the 1675. This nice faded insert. I mean, take a look at the band. Let me put this away. I mean, this thing is absolutely clean. It's got the case back sticker. We just did an unboxing on this one yesterday. Then we have the 1665 Sea Dweller, complete set with the silver date wheel. This is another watch. It's in absolutely immaculate condition, complete set, nice collector's edition pieces. Uh, the two door Snowflake. I'm sorry, the two door Samariner. Almost looks like a Samariner. I mean, the price is the price on it. It's just what it is. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, it's Man, Levy's here to do some Rolex business. He's upset with AP, even though he's going to buy some AP for me today to make up his losses. This is new 20000 It's metal. How much is this? It's 85 Not to scratch it off. What year is this? 22? Yeah, June, 85. This one, 25. We're off. What year is it? I told myself I'm not buying Daytonas. <laughs> we always say that. And we buy more Daytonas. The 5270, would you consider about my prices or no? What? 40? No, I'm 50. Yeah. Well, I'm way over that. 
They got my costs way more. I'll show you my day cost. I don't. I believe you. I'm not. I pay one seventy four. I think one ninety to ask for that. Make twenty dollars, ten percent on that. I think it's not worth it. What? Not worth it. Retail. Listen, retail. We uh, all day. So every time I work with my guy Levy here, I always have to strap in because there's always some crazy, crazy negotiation that comes into play. I have to actually prepare myself and prepare prices before he comes because you have to start high, he shoots super low, and then sometimes we happen to meet in the middle. This time around, we didn't really get much done because his, his, his offers were just crazy, man. How much do you want for your $80,000 watch? Stop. I'm, I'm giving you a taste of your own medicine. How much is that watch? 190. Can I give you 140? We're on a date. This is our anniversary. Well, what year is it? 22? 2022, 85. What are we left with, bro? 2021 new. In the sky, bro. Here I'm each halfway, best. 18.5. You take this for 18.5, I'll give you that one for 60,500. Where's my number? What do you mean? It's $1,500 off. Yeah, where was my number? Where was yours? 62. I you wanted 55, which is like undoable. I'm dead set on the price. I'm not going to move. Uh, it's not going to move. move. On the same, which, which is 190. Maybe, maybe I'll move a few thousand, but we're a far cry from where you want to be. Write down your breakdown for me. Write down your breakdown. For me. That's a big X for me, so yeah, that's a big X. This is where we break up. David is coming back with his coffee. Maybe he'll get a little caffeine in his system and wake up and realize that we ain't about losses here. Although the degree of difficulty is very high when working with him. I always give him a shot because we've done so much business over the past year. And as a matter of fact, this antique show is one year since we started working together. And since then, we've done a lot, a lot of business. It suits you. You want, to, you want me to take a picture? I think you, you, need, you need a picture, right? Let's get it. I don't buy big stuff with you. He took all of this. This man. Just because it's family. It's home. You know? We're actually brothers. We're brothers, really. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I lost no, the melon. And so we, got, we got married. We got married. This, it's not sexual. It's, it's just for the green it's card. Exactly. Just for the green card. Just, just yeah, for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Just So there's a few Bulgarian. Yeah. Italian. He's Italian. He's Italian, so we wanted to keep it uh, local. That is a beauty. Beauty right there. A little tie clip, money clip, however you want to use it. On the... <laughs> underwear clip? On the, on the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. All right, thank you so much for your business. Of course. Thank you, brother. A really good friend of mine from Geneva, he's l'enfant terrible of the vintage uh, watch and jewelry game. We were trying to make a few deals happen. Unfortunately, uh, our views didn't exactly align, but uh, I'll get him next time. Sale at Luxury Bazaar, big sale. If you didn't buy from Luxury Bazaar, you pay too much. Big sale. Yeah. 2,600. We're always busy. We treat our customers right. Tell them, tell them. Oh, this oh, woman oh, bought a bunch oh, of stuff last year. She sold that. I sold everything. Yeah. 4,600. It's a carrot stone. I'll sell it to you for 10,000. Retail is 15. Yeah. It's brand new. This is, yeah, this is brand new. We have box and paper for it. Okay. How much? 1,200. The retail is like 5,000. 1,200. This is 5,500. 2,500. I'll sell it cheap to you. 10,000. The last one I had, I paid 12. This comes with box and everything. 5,000. 5,800. We're gonna count how much money here. 5,000. 10,000. Give me seven. And tomorrow you'll bring me the rest. Thank you. Thanks so much. A lot less than I thought. A lot less. Jason, Jason, nice good to meet you, man. My son's gonna lose his mind. And we literally were up to the last season of Grill Top. We binge watched it, we binge watched it. He knows the difference between a Batman and a 13. I like it, I like it. Yeah, so can I grab a picture with you guys? Sure. That'd be great. And you guys are filming now? I can see Dad on the Yeah, yeah, he's gonna say, uh, Dad, let's go get a president. president. Always fun seeing fans once again, much like last year, a lot of you guys showed up at the New York Watch and Jewelry Show and I really, really appreciate it. Especially when you talk about young fans that are getting into watches early, as early as the age of 13, as this gentleman's son. The lion is here. Good morning. Pulling them all day. Yes. Are you buying that? Yes. This is from a local Philadelphian jeweler. No, we're buying it regardless. We're just going to try to flip it to one of our clients. But we're going to buy it no matter what. No, but what's best? There was a jeweler in Philadelphia, a local jeweler who used to sell to all these stars. His name was Craig Drake. Yeah, we bought this set uh, at the show. It's Craig Drake. Awesome looking set. We just, we bought it at the show and it was gone within the 15, 20 minutes with a nice profit. 
They kind of look like the same to me. Yeah, they're yeah. culture pearls. Gotta be a college graduate to open this thing. I don't even have a high school diploma, so... Would you like to try Roman? Not for That's me. That's okay, thank you. Ask Roman. Roman will open it. Oh, Sab Sabina, no. Sabina. Oh, you want to try No, no, no. Sabina can try it. Sabina can try You don't have to open this? You don't open this? The chain. Show me, show me, show me. Show me. Let me see. Oh, show everybody. Everybody at home. May I see the BCA? I know. I know everyone. I did that. I tried that. Five people can Oh my god. <laughs> women are better with their hands. Women have the savoir faire. I think it was just a simple. David, give use it to Roman. Roman, Roman. <laughs> oh, yes, little change on the band. Yeah, not much. We're asking 55. And it's uh, complete for. Yes, box and papers. And this one will do 60. That one's actually good looking too. And that comes with the bracelet and the, the strap as well. Thank you. No problem. So being in my first trade show, it was really cool to get the experience, to learn so much, and be around potential clientele in the future. I actually closed two deals while I was at the trade show, and it was super cool to be there. How much, how much, how much do you want? Figure it out. 9,000 times 3 is 27. What the fuck is wrong with you? How did you come? 9,000? $30 a gram, fucking 14 carat. It's scrap to me? What, the fuck what is this, scrap? What, what do you think this is? What about 26? 26 carats. I didn't say that. Go fuck yourself, bro. Please, and save your money, please. <laughs> Mr. Cocksucker, okay? Have respect for my and Save your money, please. <laughs> say, Mr. Cocksucker, please. Behave yourself. If you get that, you're, you're dreaming, you're good. I'm, I like to connect with people, I'll be in touch. And your name? Kevin. Kevin, I'm yeah. Carmela. Carmela? That's a nice name. So five minutes here, I was able to make a sale. This beautiful OP, blue dial. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. One, two, four, three hundred. Did he say one, three, one, two, four, three hundred? Yeah, three hundred. He's definitely a Philly boy. <laughs> Been in touch with this customer for probably like a week, going back and forth, back and forth, going over prices, and we got it done five minutes in. So good way to start. I need two more. My goal's three today. Good morning. I mean, there's not much else to say about this piece. This is insane. We're going nuts right now. 25-ish. Sure, are you done with these trays or do you want to keep this on the side? Keep this on the side. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. See, he knew you'd like the, the butterflies. This is sweet of you. This would be, this would be like 1,500. I think it's actually going to be a little bit more. This would be around, almost 3,000. So, yeah. 2700 This might be right up your alley, actually. So this is already close to your price range. This would be not even $400, so that's like $400, more. $400, that's good. Yeah, that's that's really and good. This one too? Yeah, it's actually less than $400. It's like $600, little less. What kind of style? Something simple? Yes, whatever, yeah. This would be, it's 22 cents on a dollar, so yes. it would be this? Yes, 580 Okay, yeah, 580 <coughs> 580 Yeah, I do love the way that that one shines. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, the baguettes. I love her very much. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I think this one. That one? That Sorry, one's really nice. No, more, that's, no, no, no. But I think it's much funny for her. Yeah, it's really okay. cute. Okay, so this one. This necklace, little diamond necklace, she wanted a pendant for her babysitter. She's been here, she's from Paris, but she came here on Monday to, I guess, explore New York. She's leaving today at four, so she's like, I'm gonna come and get my babysitter <laughs> something quick before, before I have to go home. So she's like, do you have any pendants? Anything around the $1,000 price range? So we were looking through a bunch. She finally found one that she settled on. It's actually cheaper than what she even wanted to spend. So very, very happy for her. Listen, I'm multi-talented. Multi, multi talent, not just talent. Shkalik, I'm gonna show you one big emerald. It belonged. It belonged to a queen of uh, Moldova. They don't give us passes. They don't give us passes anymore. Looks like a Colombian emerald. How you doing today? You're gonna help me sell this necklace? The problem is I can't really impress anybody here because they all have that merchandise. I mean, no, this is one of a kind. Oh, never mind. Limited edition. See if somebody pays attention. I'm just trying to sell this. The necklace. The necklace. We have one like this. You know what's funny? From here, it looks like you don't have a necklace on. Oh, I mean, that is my. That, that, is, that is black sure, on the back. I thought it was. A, I didn't see the necklace, and I'm looking, and I'm saying. I think I like need to go judge, change. That, like the judge that we were talking about. Right. No, but RBG. we have RBG. the earrings too. <laughs> uh, I guess they're not gonna buy it. <laughs> 
but they did really like it. And he had one just like it before. 35,000 was that? Uh, double that and it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you pay for this? How much would I pay for this? I know how much I already paid for this. <laughs> so one of the one of the guys that I'm was looking, walking around. I'm looking to unload. And he goes, you know, I had a Stephen Hefner necklace like this before. Any and I'm like, any reasonable offer will be considered. This set that Anna was wearing, it's by Stephen Hefner. Uh, it's in, it's made in Italy. Awesome, awesome quality. The retail is close to seven hundred thousand dollars, and uh, I guess. We need a woman that's going to like it and she's going to be able to afford to buy it. So the show started slowing up, so I figured let me hit the block, see if I can make a couple sales. Stopped by my friend B from Be On Time, ended up selling him this Yacht Master. All right, so we arrived at Be On Time. Great guys, we're going to sell him 116680 Yacht Master 2. It's a stainless steel model. Wait, first I have to fill out a uh, hurt feelings report. <laughs> I heard somebody's feelings today, so I have to uh, human resource These department. These are the antics on 47. <laughs> What's up, fucking good guy? Good guy. Dean, call me, you need to watch. See if we can, you know, use it, good. He already knows the price, we're not saying prices. We have a crystal for this, right? In case yeah. we have to. And he's comes, already got the crystal. So look we that. sell it as is, or I think we need to change the crystal? A little bit off on the crystal department. He's good people. Never fights with me. All right, cool. So, All right, Mazal, we'll do it. We'll do it. Done. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thank Feel you so done. much. Thank you. Done. Cool. Hello, how are you? Okay, so these are roughly speaking about 14.5. Wow, what a big difference between the deep sea. Huh? Yeah. So that's a Talk about on steroids. So there's James both, Cameron. Yeah, right. This is a sea dwell and this is a deep sea. This is the deep sea James yeah. Cameron. Yep. But another really nice one. I love I would say maybe style in like this case size or this case size because they don't make like these nice colors as, as much, right? Like you only get colors on kind of this, mermaid pulp, for example, but this is really nice. Can you check the price on this for me as well. I gotta do it again though. I gotta I gotta try that one because that is beefy. Sure. And this is titanium, like yeah. titanium case. And it still weighs a ton. No, so that's actually steel. These are both of these are actually steel. Oh, I, thought this, I thought the deep sea was a titanium case. Rolex doesn't make any titanium watch. Oh. I thought the case was titanium though, my mistake. But you know what? It's comfortable on the wrist anyway. Even though it's a monster, it's very comfortable. Right. I, I have to ask. Yeah. Price, price on these, roughly speaking, again, depending on year, condition, uh, they're generally in the 200 range. But you can find some in the sub 100, uh, no, sub 200 range. This one particularly, how much is this one? <laughs> I know what they run. I'll get you exactly. Just. Yeah, I know what they run, but I, I need to know what, what that's going to cost. I'm a collector slash dealer. Yeah. And I'm looking at a small collection of about 13 watches myself. If I sell a few, there's like three out of the 13 I want. But that also gives me money where I could buy a toy now for myself. Yeah, no, Depending on how well I do today, I can buy I can buy the uh, the the sea dweller. Yeah. If I do great, uh, then I can buy this. <laughs> Depends on how I do. I got some really nice watches. So the watch we're talking about here is the 5270P from Patek Philippe. It's a salmon dial perpetual calendar chronograph featuring the first in-house movement from Patek Philippe in a perpetual calendar chronograph. A little different to something, let's say like this, which is a white gold 3970, which is slightly more classically sized, but uses the Lamagna base caliber. Both have amazing merits for ownership because they're absolutely incredible watches and showcase the technical mastery of Patek Philippe. This guy bought watches for me when I was still working out of my basement. 20 years ago. He bought watches from Roman when Gary used to have here. <laughs> Adrian. Adrian, what's the best on this? Buck 35, the 4022 service. He's from New York, he's in the car business. He knows Serge and all those guys. He bought watches for me when I was still working out of my house in the basement. I called him one day, I said, listen, at 11 o'clock I got a FedEx shipment. Jumps in the fucking car from New York City, two hours to drive to my house to look at him. <laughs> and then I would tell him, I'm like, don't, don't, don't take, take the boxes of the stuff that you buy because you're going to bring this shit back anyway to get something else. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Can I open your watch? Yeah, I actually like to see it. I have this, I have this really badass this Marcus edition. I, I hear your name is Marcus. What do you think? Oh, where'd you get this? Beautiful. It's pretty serious. Yeah, that's my name on it. That's your name on it. I'll take it. Two million. Uh, <laughs> we actually had a great show. We did over a million and a half in business, so it was actually a really, really good show for us. With that said, got to go back to the office and revisit the old secret shopper.
Guys, where's everybody? All right, my phone just threw up. Who talked to who? Obviously, this was my friend with a few accents and so on and so forth, but it's very tough for me to pick, but if I have to pick one, I'm gonna go with...